As you can see, we're starting from a base coat of Wraithbone Spray, and it was really thorough to be sure the Wraithbone covered absolutely every single part of the mini, but if you have some grey spots, just touch them up using the Wraithbone base paint. And our first step will be to cover all his armor using Ian and Yellow. As always with contrast paints, I go section by section. In this case, I'm going to do the lower part of his leg first. And once I've done a full coat of this, I will go around searching for spots where too much yand and yellow has gathered. For example, here is a very good spot and I will absorb it with my clean brush. With our yand and yellow layer now dry, I'm going to take fire layer flesh and I'm going to drop this into all the recesses, just like that to emphasize and to create a bit more contrast. On top of that, reach a shade with Fire Slayer Flesh. I'm going to thin my Fire Slayer Flesh with, con with Lamia Medium to this sort of thin consistency. And I'm going to glaze this towards the lower sections of each armor piece, just like that. Once this first layer dries, I will probably do a second one, taking less area just to create more volume. It's now time to start highlighting all the armor, and for this I'm going to start with Phalanx Yellow, and I will do the first edge highlight with this. This will be a thick edge highlight. Remember to leave enough space so we can draw another line in between the Phalanx Yellow and the rest of the paint job. I also like to go over all the more spherical parts and I like to do a spot highlight just towards the top, just like a small circle to emphasize the fact that these are spherical. So I'm going to move into Dawn Yellow and I'm going to do exactly the same edge highlight but this time as thin as I can make it. So for example here on his knee pad you can see the thickness of the phalanx yellow and I'm going to go with my tone yellow and make it as thin as possible. Again, I'm going to try and leave a line of phalanx yellow in between our contrast layers. And the tone yellow. On top of the, of the edge highlight with tone yellow, I'm also going to turn tone yellow into a glaze. It's this sort of consistency there. And I'm going to do the same spot highlight as I did with Phalanx in the same areas. I'm going to take a one to one mix of Dawn Yellow and Pure White and I'm going to apply this in the same way but just concentrating this to the very tips of each shape. Like there. I'm also going to apply a dot of this in the very center of our spot highlights. I'm going to take pure white and I'm going to do very small dots in the very corners. 